Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Wendy's Kooky Crochet Tutorial. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute cat beanie. It's really beginner friendly and easy to make. And I'm going to show you how to make the little ears, the bow, and everything. And I've made this with some black velvet yarn. The supplies you're going to need to make this is you're going to need your size chart, which is in my community channel. Um, you're going to need a measuring tape. That way you know um, when you get to whatever size that you need. So you're going to need your measuring tape to make this cute cat beanie. Um, you're also going to need your yarn. Now I'm using a black velvety yarn for this one. And um, just make sure your hook size matches your yarn. This is a really puffy yarn. And I'll uh, link that, my Amazon affiliate to that in the description below. You're going to need your 7 millimeter crochet hook or the crochet hook that actually matches your yarn size. And it'll tell you on the package. You're going to need a pair of scissors. And you're also going to need a contrasting color. So this is um, the color I'm making the bows and the color that I'm making for the um, insides of the ear. And then for that, I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook. And then you're also going to need your yarn needle so you can sew some of this stuff on. And that's really about it that you're going to need to make this. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to make the adult medium size. Let me start off saying that. So I'm going to need this uh, circumference to be 20 inches. And then I'm going to need the height to be at least seven and a half inches tall. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a chainless um, half double crochet. And I'm going to make sure that is at least seven and a half inches long. I may just make it just a tiny bit longer, but not much longer. So, so that's the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to need to make that seven and a half inches long. And if you don't know how to do the chainless half double crochet, I'll link that in the description below and above also. But if you don't want to do the chainless half double crochet, you can just do, um, single crochets and then do a half double crochet in each single crochet down. And so here, what I'm doing is I'm just doing my chainless half double crochet. So, I'm yarning over there. I'm pulling through all three like you would have. So I yarn over then I'm inserting my hook and then I'm yarning over and pulling up a loop and then I'm pulling through one yarn over, pull through all three. And really that's all you do to make a, um, a chainless half double crochet. And the reason that I'm starting off making it like this is um, because I like the way that it stretches. So a chainless stitch stretches a whole lot easier than just a normal chain stitch. And um, I like especially clothes when I make them, clothes, beanies, anything like that. If I can, I like to start out with this type of stitch, a chainless stitch. That way it stretches a whole lot easier and it's easier to wear, fit around your head, that type of thing. And so here I'm just doing my chainless half double crochet until I reach about that seven and a half inches long. And I'm measuring now, and let's see here, about how long is this? Oh, this is, a, that's about right. It's about seven and a half inches long. Maybe just a hair too long, actually. Let me look at this one more time so I can really line that up and see. Now I'm going to need to take it out just the hair. So I don't want it to be just too big. So yeah, maybe one more out. So I'll take one more out there. 
And let's see here now. Do I like the size? So that's better. That's much, much better actually. So, so now all I'm going to do is I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to turn and I'm going to do half double crochets right down that row. And that's all I'm going to do until I get to the length that I need. So the length here is going to be 20 inches. So I'm just going to do what I was doing earlier, just the half double crochet. I'm just doing that all the way down until I get to the length I need. And the length is going to be 20 inches. So you just keep on going down the, down that line there until you get the length that you need. And when you get to the end of each row, you're just going to chain one, and then you're going to, again, half double crochet all the way down. This is really, really beginner friendly, guys. So you see there, I wanted to measure it one more time just to make sure it's the length that I need it to be. And now I'm just going back and forth, half double crocheting all the way down. And then when I get to the end, I'm chaining one and then I'm crocheting, um, half double crocheting all the way down again. And I'm just repeating that over and over and over again until I get to the length that I'm looking for, which for me is an adult medium. So that's 20 inches. And if you, um, if you have a smaller child or something like that, you can follow this size chart to make it smaller. This is going to, it's really, really easy to change up. So let's say you wanted it for maybe a five year old, you can make it to six and a half inches long and then the uh, circumference or the length would need to be that uh, 16 and a half inches long. And guys, if you're liking what you see, please subscribe to my channel. That would really help me out a lot. And um, this, I think, would actually, too, be a pretty good seller at a craft show. People seem to really, really like this. Um, I've got one here in black, but then you could also do multiple colors. Some maybe for springy colors or even a white with the pink bow. That would be super, super cute. And um, yeah, this would be great at um, craft shows or anything like that. So feel free to make it and um, sell it at any craft shows. But um, I would really appreciate it if you credit me and um, don't make any videos where you show people exactly how to make them. Just recommend them back to my channel and I would really appreciate that.
And so here I'm just keeping on going all the way down, doing half double crochets. And then when I get to in the end, I'm just gonna chain one and I'm gonna turn and I'm gonna do the same thing all the way down and just keep on going until I get my the inches that I need. And I like to stop every once in a while just to make sure that I'm on track and I'm not overdoing it or anything like that. Although I can tell by looking at it that it's not near long enough, but still. I. It uh, reassures me stopping every once in a while and measuring my piece. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure it, see it, make, see how long it is. So that's right at 20 inches. So I'm satisfied with how long that is. So here I'm just going to chain one and then I'm going to put my two sides together. And um, you just want to slip stitch right down that seam. So you just start in your first side and go to your second side and slip stitch right down that seam. And um, it's a good idea to count your stitches when you do this. Um, when you're making it that way you make sure that you're not getting off anywhere that you still have the same stitches on one side as you do the other side. So I'm just going through my first side then my second side I'm pulling up a loop and then I'm just pulling it through and I'm doing that all the way down so I'm just doing a slip stitch all the way down that seam there sorry it's a little bit hard to see that I suppose but um, just doing a slip stitch all the way down that's all I'm doing so I'm going into my first side then I'm going into my second side and then I'm pulling through a loop and I'm just pulling that loop all the way through and then I'm keep on going and for me 
I had 15 stitches so I'll be doing this repeating that just 15 times because I had 15 stitches on each of my rows so basically what you're doing here is you're just making a circle right now and that's all you're doing right now is just making a circle And then when you get done with that, when you've made your circle and you've connected all your stitches, what I did now is I just chained one. So I chained one and now I'm just going to half double crochet all the way around. So I'm going to half double crochet in the ends of each one of those stitches that I, um, each one of those rows that I did previously. So that will be one per row. Um, you could count it to make sure that you're not getting off. I didn't count, but you can if you want to, to make sure that you're just doing one per row. And um, you're just going to do that all the way around. And when you get to the very first one, then you're going to um, slip stitch in the first half double crochet that you made. And I'm going to measure this and I think I'm going to do one more row when I get done with this. I just want to make sure it's plenty long. So I just want to make sure it definitely is long enough, especially for me to make the little cat ears the way I want them to be. And again, you're just doing one half double crochet in each of those rows around, around your hat. And black is the hardest color to see. And I have really, really bright lamps on and it's still hard for me to see the black. It's, it's to me, it's one of the hardest colors to work with or crochet with because it is just so hard to see. And again, I'm just doing one half double crochet in each of those um, rows that I made earlier. And when I get to the first one, I'm just going to slip stitch in the top of that first half double crochet made. So here I am, I'm just slip stitching in the top of that first half double crochet made and I went ahead and I chained one and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one more round here. I'm doing one more round because I know it's not quite long enough so I really made it closer to that seven seven and a quarter inches instead of the seven and a half inches but if it ends up being you know seven and three quarters inches then I'll be just fine with that I'm, I'm happy with that size or if it ends up being you know even eight inches I'm happy with that size too I just don't want it to be too short and so I'm just doing one half double crochet around into the half double crochets I did before and then I'm going to slip stitch into that first stitch made and this yarn sometimes it can kind of get like the ends can little bits can come off so you just want to watch that leave plenty at the end so you can sew it in properly and so now i'm just slip stitching to that first half double crochet that i made i'm going to chain one And now I'm just going to measure it to see if it's long enough. So that's really, that's about eight inches long and that's fine. I'm happy with that. And so now I'm going to clip it and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to work this in, in just because I don't want to do it later. And I'm taking my crochet hook here just because it can be a little bit difficult since the yarn is so puffy. Um, to fit it onto the yarn needle. So I'm just working that in and going back and forth and I'm going to go back over where I just worked in. So I'm just going to go back and forth. I'm going to work that end in. And now I'm going to start doing the 
the pink part of the ears. So here I'm just, oh, it got a little blurry for a second. So here I'm just using my five millimeter hook and I'm doing a slip knot onto that five millimeter hook. And I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to do one half double crochet in that first chain that I made. So I'm just going to do one half double crochet and actually I'm going to do it in the back bump. You don't have to, but that's what I'm doing. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do two turn and then do two half double crochets into that half double crochet that I made before. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. I'm going to do one half double crochet and now I'm going to do like you would do a half double crochet decrease. So I'm going to yarn over. I'm going to insert my hook into that same stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I'm going to yarn over again. I'm going to insert my hook into that next stitch and I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull up a loop and now I'm going to pull through all three. And now I'm going to yarn over and make a normal half double crochet into that same, uh, that last half double crochet I made on the previous round. And that is how you make a half double crochet seamless increase. So you make it in the middle instead of the ends. So here I chain one, I'm doing two half double crochets in that first, one half double crochet in the next, and then two half double crochets in that last half double crochet. And now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do two half double crochets. So this I'm just measuring it and it needs to be a little bit bigger. So I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch. Then I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next one, two, three stitches. And then I'm going to do two half double crochets in that last stitch. And now I'm going to chain one. I'm going to measure it again and see if I think that's big enough. And really, I do kind of think it's big enough. So I chained one there and now I'm working down that row there. So I'm going to do one single crochet in each row that I made before. So that one's the fifth row. That one's the fourth row. So you just go down and you do one single crochet in each of those rows that you made before. And then when you get to the tip, you're going to do two single crochets in the very tip. So here, here's the tip right there. So I'm going to work two single crochets into that very tip. And now I'm going to go back down that line and I'm going to do one single crochet in each of those rows. So just one single crochet in each of the rows that I did previously. And this just, it evens it up and makes it look like a nice finished stitch. And sometimes those stitches can be a little bit hard to work in. So you may need to work with it just a little bit there. So I'm just doing one single crochet in each of those rows, the side of those rows that I did before. And now when I get to this next stitch, I'm going to do two single crochets and well, I'm keeping on going. So it's like, I'm kind of almost like I'm going in a circle there. So I'm going to do two single crochets in that first stitch. Then I'm going to do one single crochet all the way till that last stitch. And then I'm going to do two single crochets in that last stitch. And then I'm going to, um, slip stitch to the first single crochet that I made. And then I'm going to, chain one and then I'm going to leave the yarn long. So make sure when you cut it, you leave your yarn long because that's what you're going to be sewing onto. So see, there's one of my cat ears right there or the inside of my cat ear. And I left my yarn really long there and I'm just going to pull that out and I'm going to do that one more time. So I'm just doing that one more time now for the other side. So I'm making my slip knot. I'm going to chain two and then I'm going to make 
one half double crochet in that back loop and sometimes it can be a little bit hard to do if you are um, if you did your uh, chain stitches too tight it, that can be a little bit hard to work into there so now I'm just doing my one half double crochet I'm chaining one and then I'm turning and I'm going to do two half double crochets in that stitch and I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do one half double crochet in the first stitch and I'm going to do the same thing I did before so I'm going to do like a half double crochet decrease so I'm going to do go through that first stitch I'm going to yarn over again now I'm going to go through that second stitch so that next stitch I'm going to pull up a loop I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to pull through all the loops on my hook and then I'm going to do a half double crochet again in that last stitch and that way you have three stitches and it goes in the middle and so the end now I'm doing two half double crochets now in that next stitch one half double crochet in the middle and then two half double crochets in that last stitch and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to turn and now I'm going to do two half double crochets in that first stitch and I'm going to do one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches and then I'm going to do two half double crochets in that last stitch And now I'm chaining one and I'm looking at it measuring it yep that looks about the same so now I'm going to do my one single crochet in each of the rows below so I'm just doing one single crochet in the ends of each of those rows below and there's not usually a great place you just have to kind of find a place to work it in at so there's not usually like the perfect spot to work it into there so you just have to find the find a place that you can easily work it into so I'm just doing one single crochet in each of those rows and then when I get to that tip I'm doing two single crochets in that tip And then I am continuing to work around my triangle so I'm doing one single crochet in each of the ends on this side of the triangle so I just do one single crochet in each of those end spots And now I'm when I get to that that first half double crochet I'm going to do two single crochets in that first half double crochet and then I'm going to single crochet down this row until I get to the end and on the very end stitch I'm going to do two single crochets in that very last stitch and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch to that first stitch made and then I'm just going to chain one and cut my yarn long that way I uh, have something easy to easily sew it on with so I'm just pulling that through pulling it tight there and so now um, after you do that you need to figure out where your middle is and I want that seam to be in the middle so that's about where I'm putting mine at is um, that seam in the very middle on the back side so this is um, this is the front side that you're looking at right here so and I'm putting my seam on the back side of my beanie and here what I'm going to do is I'm just taking my yarn needle and I'm going to sew that on so I'm going to go around the whole triangle there and I'm just sewing it onto my beanie and I'm only sewing through one side not both sides so just so you can see right there I'm just going to the inside of the of my beanie here so I'm just sewing it to the inside right here and I'm just going to go back and forth sewing this on I'm going to go all the way around again sometimes these stitches can be a little bit hard to work into and 
and you just want to make sure that you're kind of going in that corner there and you don't have to put it at the very 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 top just kind of where it makes sense to you it can be you know cute you have a little bit of fur sticking out all the way around like you like a cat would a cat would have a little bit of fur sticking out all the way around so here I'm just continuing I'm going all the way around that triangle and sewing it onto the beanie and then when I get back to the first one that I made what I'm gonna do is uh, that other piece of yarn I pulled it to the back so the starting yarn now I'm just gonna tie this right here so I'm tying the two pieces of pink yarn together and then I'm just going to cut those off and now I'm going to do the same thing with the other side there so I've got one corner done so now I'm going to use my yarn needle I'm going to do the same exact thing that I just did I'm going to thread my yarn needle and I'm just going to sew that on and I'm going to go all the way around just like I did with the other one so just back and forth sewing it on all the way around and kind of getting in that corner you know as good as you can it doesn't have to be perfect let's put it like that it absolutely does not have to be perfect at all and if you got if you've kind of lined this up and then you're like I don't know these don't match I don't really like the way this looks because I was looking at it, I'm like I don't know that one's a little that's angled a little too far down I need to angle it up so now I just uh, kind of pushed it up a little bit so I make sure that it's at the same angle there um, the first one's usually easier than the second one because you kind of want the match the um, the second one to match the first one that is so here again I'm just sewing it in going back and forth until I get to where I started at and then when I get to where I started at I'm going to use my um, small hook and I'm going to pull um, the pink string through and I'm just going to weave it in and tie it just like I did before that's all I'm doing here just weaving that in tying it and then I'm going to cut it So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a long piece of the black yarn and I'm going to sew up that top. So I'm just going to go straight across sewing up the top and I'm going to take a long piece of yarn because I'm going to sew it a couple of different ways. Um, so here you're just going to get your yarn, you're going to take a very long piece of your yarn and you're going to attach it to the inside. One nice thing about this kind of yarn, it's so fluffy you can't really even see the ends. So that's pretty nice. So I'm going to go to the inside right there and I'm just going to make a knot in that end of my yarn so it doesn't go through where I've attached it at. I'm going to make, you know, a pretty good knot there. So do it a couple of times. In fact I think I did it three times just to make sure now I'm going to start at that corner and I'm just going to sew this up so I'm pulling it through here and I'm just sewing it up and I'm going straight across the top so one side to the other and you're just sewing it up going straight across the top there And this black does make quite a bit of a mess, by the way. And it can be a little bit hard to pull this sometimes too. Just be careful. You don't want to accidentally rip it or anything like that. So be gentle with it, especially um, like right now, because you don't want to rip it or anything like that. So just be careful, be gentle with it when you're working that through. And again, I'm just going all the way across the top here, just sewing that together.
And then when I get to the end here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my yarn on the inside. I'm going to kind of work it down. So go to the inside of where your beanie is and just work it down on the inside there. And then what you're going to do is you're going to start at another corner so you're going to see where it goes kind of straight across and this can be at your own discretion so kind of where this goes straight across at and it doesn't have to be perfect by the way so it doesn't definitely 100% does not have to be perfect so I'm just kind of lining it up there and now I'm seeing all right where I just want to go just a little bit below where the ears the pink part of the ears end and so i'm going to make a diagonal line and i'm going to sew that sew it diagonally now so i'm going to sew it kind of just a little bit of space below the pink part of the ear is where i'm going to sew this up now and i'm just going to go straight or straight across on that diagonal and i'm just going to sew that up and here i'm going back and forth just a little bit making sure I didn't really miss anything. It's really hard to see on the black, but you're just going back and forth across there, making sure you've done a good job at sewing it up. And you're going to go all the way to the top when you sew this up. You just keep on going exactly the way you have been until you get to the very top of your beanie. And then when you get to the top, you're going to do pretty much the same thing with the other side. So I'm gonna work my yarn needle. I'm gonna work it through the inside. So here I'm just kinda, of, you see how I'm just kinda of pulling it to the inside there. So I'm pulling that to the inside. And here you don't want to pull that really hard. I'm kind of working it in and out because again, with this yarn, you really can't see it. And I, But don't pull it too hard because if you do, it'll kind of crunch up the beanie and you don't want it to crunch it up. You want it to look um, kind of normal there. And so you get to the corner there where you want to start working at. So just go in and out until you get to where you want to start your diagonal line on the other side. So now you're just going to go straight kind of across diagonally right below the pink part of the ear there. And you're going to work that again just in and out across the bottom part of the ear there. So across the bottom part of that pink ear there and just work it in and out until you get all the way down. And when you do, then we're going to tie the yarn off and we're going to cut it. So again, you're just working the in and out. And now I'm just kind of puffing it up making sure it looks like I want it to look and it does it looks really cool I like the way it looks that's going to stand up nicely it's going to look cute on and it seems secure so that's good it all seems nice and secure now and that's exactly what I'm looking for so from here what I'm going to do is I'm going to work that black in some so I'm going to get just get the black I'm going to put it on the inside and then I'm going to work it in and I'm going to tie it in a knot and I'm going to um, cut it off and that and then I'll be done with that part and if you were satisfied with that let's say that this is okay this is what I like I don't want the bow or anything like that if you didn't want the bow then you could just go right ahead after you work your black yarn in and tie it off you could go ahead and say that you're good or if you want the bow you can continue on with me And if you like what you're seeing, please uh, like this, 
like this video and um, ring the bell so you know when I have new videos coming out because I have tons of new fun projects coming out all the time. And again, if you like it like this, you can go ahead and leave it like this. It looks super cute on without the little bow. But I wanted to add something else, just a little bit to it. So I wanted to add the bow to it. So for the bow, what I'm doing is I am using my five millimeter hook there in my pink yarn. I wanted to make my bow pink. For some reason, I just love black and pink together. So I'm just doing a slip knot and now I'm going to make a chain. So here I'm just going to do chain. So I'm just gonna do a chain and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do 30 and that's gonna give me about seven and a half inches. And that's probably pretty good, seven and a half inches. That means that it'll be about three and a quarter inches each side my bow will be. And if you wanted your bow bigger, you could definitely chain more. Or if you wanted it smaller, you know, you could chain less. It depends on you and how big that you want your bow to be. But all I'm doing is I'm chaining 30 and I am going to slip stitch to the first chain that I made. So here I'm looking at it, that's about seven and a half inches. And now what I'm going to do after I see that, I'm gonna say, okay, well, do I like that? Is that long enough? So I'm just kind of putting it back to back. And I'm like, yeah, I think that is. That fits nicely in the middle. So I'm slip stitching to the first chain I made and you wanna be very, very careful here you make sure that you do not twist that chain at all. So the chain needs to be straight. It does not need to be twisted at all. And so here I'm just slip stitching to that first one that I made. And now all I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to do a half double crochet all the way around. And when I get back around to the first half double crochet I made, I'm going to slip stitch the first half double crochet that I made. And I'm going to chain one and then I'm just going to continue to do that um, several times until my bow gets the um, width that I want it to be. So here I'm just going to go around over and over and over again and half double crochet all the way around. And for me, this is going to be about five rows of half double crochets.
So now I just slip stitch to that first stitch that I made. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this long. As soon as I find my scissors, that is. I tend to lose stuff quite often. There they are. They were hiding. So here I'm just going to pull my hook through. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this even like in the middle. So make where you just put it at where you just uh, fastened off at. Make it even. Make that part the middle. And um, just kind of scrunch it down there. So you can see it kind of it kind of wants to fold up and kind of look funny so just make sure you can play with it after you scrunch it up some so just play with it a little bit to make sure it really does look you know like a cute fluffy little bow there and again make sure you get it in the middle and now I'm just wrapping that around and wrapping it around and wrapping it around a whole bunch of times and it's kind of kind of folded a little bit so I want to make sure I straighten that up and you're pulling it super super tight so pull it really really tight and then wrap it around a couple more times again you're pulling it very very tight and then you're going to take your other string the one that you started off with your tail end there and you're just going to make a knot on that back end so you're just going to make a really good secure tight knot on that back end and now you're going to kind of play with it just a little bit you can play with the bow a little bit to make sure it actually looks like a bow and everything looks cute on it and it does this one looks cute it looks like a cute little bow so i'm just going to you know get to what i think is the middle there and i'm going to pull one of my strings through and then I'm going to pull the other one through but not at the same exact spot so I can tie it securely on the back. So here I'm here now I'm just going to turn this over and once I get it really the way I want it and that looks cute I like it so I'm just going to tie that into a knot on the back and then I will be done with this project and again guys if you like this if you made it this far please subscribe to my channel it would really help me out and um, if you guys have any videos that you would like to see I would love to hear from you in the comments and again this one would also be a great seller at craft fair so feel free to sell it if that's what you want to do but just um, give my give my channel credit for it that would be super super awesome of you and I hope you enjoyed making this as much as I um, enjoyed um, coming up with the ideal for you guys and um, I will see you next time happy hooking everybody